got our brie just slightly melted. And we're just going to take. Oh wow! Just lay it right over the top, and you'll see the creamy richness that it adds to the salad. So there you have it so far. I'm going to finish up my whipped cream uh, and I'll come back and put together the little strawberry blueberry shortcake and then I'll explain the, the, fin the, the final presentation. All right. Just a quick trick on the whipped cream, especially in Cindy's brand new beautiful clean kitchen. Just take a kitchen rag, set it over the top of it. If you've got a KitchenAid or whatever stand mixer, just throw a rag over the top of it. All right, just to keep it from splattering all over the kitchen. Okay, great. So we've got our berries. You can see they've created a little bit of juice. Uh, these have probably been in there for 15 or 20 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, basically, the longer you set them in there, the juicier they're going to get. So we're going to pop them right into our little shell. Don't necessarily have to keep them in that inside there. The more berries, the better. Make sure you get some of the juice, the sugar juice from down the bottom. Some of that nice fresh whipped cream we just oh, made. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> the best part, right? So there you have it. Shrimp saute uh, over fettuccine with little uh, fresh vegetables, uh, Berblanc sauce, quick and easy strawberry blueberry shortcake, and just a nice little harvest salad with uh, gourmet greens, warm brie, that little dried cranberry nut mixture, and just a sweet and easy cranberry vinaigrette. And that's it. Uh, Scott Richardson, Gorilla Gourmet, Bullfinch's Restaurant in Sudbury, Bob Heisen, Heisen Photography. I'd like to thank the uh, Laird Bryant family, Cindy, Doug, John, and Jeffrey for all being here and for allowing me to uh, come in and use their beautiful new kitchen. Thanks again and have a good day.